In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to craft the Mecha Godzilla suit. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, you can actually use this suit. Oh, yes. This is insane. <laughs> but this is insane. This is awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, today is going to be an absolutely amazing day. I hope you guys are ready for it. If you guys are, be sure to go ahead and repulsor blast the like button. Uh, I'm sorry, Pig. I had to do it for, for, for the likes. I'm sure you guys can probably tell by the title and the thumbnail. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys every single way to get the Mecha Godzilla suit. Now, some of you guys may be thinking that this is a tiny suit, like my Iron Man Mark 21 suit right in front of your eyeballs, but you know, this thing is massive. And because it is so massive, you're actually going to need to defeat Godzilla in order to get some parts in order to craft Mecha Godzilla. First things first, before we do that, I want to show you guys the Shatter Dome. This is basically going to be the building device that you need to place down before you're able to build Mecha Godzilla. Look at the size of it. Mecha Godzilla is going to basically be directly in the center, so you guys can basically you know, you can, you can kind of tell just uh, how big it's going to be. Now, since Mecha Godzilla is indeed a giant robot, we need to power it. So inside this chest, we have a generator that is powered by nether stars, and we need to hook it up to our Shatter Dome. By the way, if you guys want to see how to actually craft this in Minecraft, be sure to go ahead to the description down below. I'm going to leave a link to Hero Games for the win. He has a tutorial explaining all of the brand new updates in the Legends mod. This mod adds in so many cool things, including superheroes and now even Mecha Godzilla. By the way, I forgot to mention at the end of today's episode, we are going to be trying to battle Godzilla using Mecha Godzilla. So be sure to stick around for that, but I believe this thing is now powered up. And as you can tell, there are a lot of empty slots. In the left side here, we need to put Godzilla skull, G-cells, and 64 Godzilla bones. Now, in order to get that, we're going to have to defeat Godzilla. I know, it sounds like it, it's a little bit scary. I've done it a couple times, but luckily, I'm Iron Man. And I also have the Twilight Sparkly Sword. You're probably thinking the Twilight Sparkle Sword is not very good. Well, <laughs> I'm about to prove you wrong. Let's do this, ladies and gentlemen, in three, two, one, Godzilla. Okay. All right, I'm already getting beasted. So, I mean, I could try to shoot it. I, I could try to use my, my uh, different Iron Man things, but I think I'm just gonna use the Twilight Sparkle Sword. It has an ability that basically annihilates anything in its path. And that is why, ladies and gentlemen, Godzilla is about to die to Twilight Sparkle Sword. And as you guys can see, it drops the Godzilla skull, the green things are the G-cells, and I believe the rest of it should be bones. The skull is, is super big too. It's his actual skull, and we are going to use this in order to create Mecha Godzilla's helmet. Hopefully I can get this back. Uh, can I punch it? Please tell me I can get this back. Did I really just break it? Do I have to kill another Godzilla? Oh, never mind. There it is. Okay, now we can go fly back to the Shatter Dome, and I can show you guys the entire process of crafting Mecha Godzilla. You guys do not know how long I have waited to do this. The Legends mod has not been updated for an extremely long time, so you're going to need a few different things. You need high-tech electronics, which is going to basically be the, the electronics that uh, the suit operates on. We also have titanium plates, which will be the outer plates of Mecha Mecha Godzilla, a beacon, 64 blocks of redstone, and 32 rockets. You'll see in just a second why we need 32 rockets. So if we head over here back to the Shatter Dome, I believe we just need to put the skull on top, the G cells in the middle, we need to put at least 64 Godzilla bones on the bottom side. Now in the center area here is where we put the high-tech electronics. Next up, I think we put the rockets on the bottom, the block of redstone, the beacon, and the titanium plates. And if I did this right, ladies and gentlemen, when I hit build, we will get Mecha Godzilla in three, two, one. Mecha Godzilla has been created. Let's go! We got the Mecha Godzilla achievement too. Look at that pig! Oh crap! Look at that sheep! What? Why do I keep killing things? What am I doing? I don't even care! Oh, holy nuts! This is insane! All right, all right, now we gotta focus up. So before I actually hop inside and test this thing out, I wanna just see 
how tall it actually is. So I'm flying up next to it, and it's actually so tall that it starts glitching out when you get near the top. Don't worry, though, because I'm pretty sure as soon as I get inside, we'll be able to look at this thing just a little bit better. But it basically reminds me of, like, a giant Transformer or one of those giant mechs from Power Rangers that I used to watch back in the day. That's a great show. But ladies and gentlemen, in order to get inside, um, I'm not entirely sure if I can wear my Iron Man suit inside, but we're going to test it out. So if I go back inside of the Shatter Dome and hit deploy, I can't deploy with my Iron Man armor on. That makes sense. So if you have nothing on and you hit deploy, we are now at the top of Mecha Godzilla. I'm sorry for screaming, but I have, I have been so excited to test this out. This is my first time ever doing this. I remember years ago, like, the, wait, is that the sun? I uh, the sun is like, it's glitching out hard. I don't know if you guys can see on the left hand of the screen. That's not supposed to happen, is it? But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, for years, I have been using this mod and every single update has been fantastic. Now, there are a ton of other things in the update. So if you guys do want to see more videos with Mecha Godzilla and also brand new superheroes, please go ahead and smash like. Actually, don't smash the like button. Use your twin maser cannons on the like button. <laughs> that is unreal. It's honestly just crazy to think how tall I am right now. Like, I, I really, I, I need to test this out against some other creatures to see just how powerful it is. So, unfortunately, I'm not able to open my inventory while in the mech. I was gonna check out, like, what tier armor this is, but I honestly think that this is, like, tier six, which is the max tier armor that you can get. Can I jump, too? I think, oh my gosh, I can actually jump as Mecha Godzilla. The third person is crazy. Now, there is a flight. Let's see. What? What? I get a jetpack? What? I can fly around like Iron Man, even though I am 1,000 times bigger than Iron Man. No, this is unreal. This is this is crazy. Now, what happens when I land? Do I just break everything? This is crazy. Okay, I'm actually, I'm gonna turn off clouds just so we can get a better look at myself. I can't even see, like, should I up my render distance? Maybe that will help just a little bit. I guess it kind of helped a little. I also zoomed in. Uh, there is a roar ability that I need to test out in three, two, one, roar. <laughs> Let's go. That is sick. Now, obviously, this thing is equipped with a ton of different weapons. We have rail guns. What? What am I even shooting right now? I cannot wait to use this to fight Godzilla because honestly, everything else is going to appear super tiny. Let's try out. Uh, what, what is that? What does a tail whip do? I just spin around. I'm pretty sure everything below me is dead. Never mind. I think I see some chickens down there. I wish this thing had some sort of like zoom ability. Let's try out the spiral claw. What does that do? What? You guys see my right hand? It just unleashed a claw. That is amazing. Yeah, everything just died from that. Somehow, I'm still able to pick up items. I just I think I just hit myself with an egg. Wait a second. That was interesting. So when I walked in water, was I dying? Or maybe did I just step on some spikes or something? I see the little chicken down there. What's up, chicken? How do you like rockets? Yeah, you guys remember the 32 rockets from earlier? I'm pretty sure I just unleashed all of them at once on a chicken. Yeah, that chicken's not gonna end up at KFC tonight, I can tell you that. What is this, uh, Mazer Blade? All right, well, that had a dope sound effect, and I don't know if you guys can see, but in my arms, there are yellow blades that have popped out. And I'm guessing that just makes me do a lot more physical damage. They don't really last for super long, though, but uh, they're probably extremely effective, especially against other giants like Godzilla. And then before I do anything else, we need to test out its ultimate ability, which is called Absolute Zero Cannon. I'm just going to do it on my house just for fun. Do you guys see my chest right now? What is about to happen? Oh my god! What? <laughs> no way! That was sick! That was literally like Godzilla's atomic breath, except it's Mecha God's English! That was literally Mecha Godzilla's version of Godzilla's atomic breath. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna try to use my flight in order to, to somehow get back to, to okay, never mind. We're, we're actually we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna hit the eject button. Can't eject it this time. Can I eject now? How about now? What about now? Okay, I just ejected myself. Where am I? Somehow I was inside of a hole. So I'm pretty sure anytime you eject from Mega Godzilla, it just goes back to your Shatter Dome. So if I were to go over here, um, let's actually try to upgrade. No upgrade. Repair. No mech to repair. Deploy one. Okay, so let's deploy it, right? Can I upgrade it? I don't think that feature's there. What about, what about a, re oh, upgrade. Cost 60. Build. No. Repair. 
I repaired it. Move, remove 60 tokens. All right, well, at least it is fully repaired now. And if I just travel over here under Godzilla's foot, we can go ahead and get some challenges. So I just spawned in multiple stacks of zombie pigmen warriors over here, which is one of the new mobs in the Legends update. We're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna try the the, the laser cannon, the the maser laser cannon. Oh baby! All right, wait, they're actually kind of attacking me. Let's try out our rail guns. <laughs> Why are they even trying to attack me right now? Wait, I can just punch too. I completely forgot I can just punch. I don't want to do that. Let's use our spiral claw. They're all just dead. They 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 are all just dead. They are all dead. Bro, this isn't even fair. I'm literally, I'm a killer. I just murked all of them. Well, this dude's actually trying to do some damage here. So let's use our interlocking rockets. 32 more rockets. This man is about to eat for lunch. He's alive? Nah, 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 nah. Tail whip, he survived a tail whip. That's actually slightly impressive. Maser blades. And we're just gonna, yep, we're gonna blade him to death. Like that dude was literally one one thousandth of Mecha Godzilla size. So I respect him for trying to fight back, but honestly, it was a little bit dumb. The next challenge for Mecha Godzilla is two crabs. Honestly, from up here, they look like normal sized crabs, but these things are basically Godzilla versions of crabs. Crabzilla, we're just gonna go for it, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna go straight for the interlocking rockets. Light it up! Let's go! All right, well, that honestly did not kill them, so I think we need to go for an absolute zero cannon. We're loading up. We are loading up. Just imagine seeing this thing before <laughs> you die. Blast! Wait, wait, why isn't it dying? <laughs> wait a second. It's like frozen alive, but it's not dead. Maybe if I give a little roar. Roar, roar. roar. Let's use our twin cannons. I'm actually kind of curious how much damage this is doing because they each have 2,000 health. Let's see if they'll even fight back. Oh my gosh, they actually hit me kind of far. Don't worry though, I am absolutely massive. Wait a second, whoa. Boy, they're doing a lot of damage to my Mecha Godzilla suit of armor. Whoa, wait a second, do you guys see my armor? It's slowly dipping. Okay, we're gonna need to unleash all of our abilities. Wait, this is actually gonna be a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be. Yep, we need more rockets. Definitely more rockets. We're gonna need my Mazer Blades too. Why am I flying? No, no, we, we, we can't fly. This is bad, ladies and gentlemen, this is bad, this is bad. We need to use absolute zero cannon. Unleash the beast! Do it! Cannonball! <laughs> it didn't work! Die, 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 die. Kick, kick, scratch, kick, kick, scratch, kick. What are you? Stop, stop. What are you doing? What are you? What are you? He's gonna kill me. Mecha Godzilla will not die to a crab. There is no way that this is happening right now. I died to a crab. Uh, yeah, so uh, this is kind of a little bit scary. I wonder actually, does the Mecha Godzilla suit go back into storage? That is the question, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and figure it out. So let's deploy. It does indeed deploy. And in order to get it again, I need $9,000. Luckily, I have it. Wait, wait, wait. We should, uh, we should definitely repair it. I guess we'll just use our ranged attacks here. We'll just keep... Um, backpack unit has been destroyed. Never mind. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go back and eject. Let's go ahead and try to repair it. There we go. Now, all of the different systems should be back to normal. But honestly, ladies and gentlemen, I'm done fighting giant Alaskan crabs. Even though it's my favorite food, I don't think these guys are gonna drop any. That is why we're gonna spawn in Godzilla in three, two, one. Go ahead, Godzilla. Stomp the crabs. Turn them into crab meat so I can eat them. And meanwhile, while Godzilla's getting freaky over there, we're gonna go back into Mecha Godzilla. Oh my gosh, bro, look at it. Wait, we're actually taller than Mecha. Wait, we're taller. We are taller than Godzilla. This is crazy right now. Look at it. I'm literally looking down on Godzilla. Who would have thought? Okay, we're gonna have to use all of our abilities, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, laser cannon, rail guns, spiral claw. There we go, tail whip. It's actually working, kind of. I should, we, I mean, we should probably team up together on the crabs because the crabs are doing the most damage. But this is insane. This is awesome. Bro, I can't even believe what's happening right now. Comment down below right now who you think will win, ladies and gentlemen. Mecha Godzilla, regular Godzilla, or the twin crabs down there. My money's on the crabs. But at the same time, the coolest out of all of the creatures today has to be Mecha Godzilla. We're charging up the absolute zero cannon. Where am I? What is happening? Oh my gosh, we're doing so much damage right now. Unleash the rockets, come on! Come on, for whatever reason, I can't get Godzilla down past like three quarters health. I'm slapping him. I'm slapping his dude as fast as I can possibly slap my giant robotic hands. Oh my gosh. 
Let's go with the absolute zero cannon, ladies and gentlemen. It's so overpowered, it actually froze Godzilla. We're charging up another one, come on! It's about even right now. Godzilla might have the edge on me. Come on, this should bring me down. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. Oh my gosh, he used atomic breath right back. Ladies and gentlemen, it has turned into a boxing match. <laughs> this is insane right now. This is just the two heavyweights of the world going crazy with their punches. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we are about to lose, but, but... We brought Godzilla down to basically one quarter health left. And there's also an, uh, an option to upgrade the Mecha Godzilla suit. So I'm thinking that once we could do that in the future, we should be able to tank Godzilla. But for now, Godzilla de definitely has our number. And somehow I'm still I'm still literally bleeding, even though I just respawned. Ladies and gentlemen, definitely go check out the Legends mod. I will leave a link to it down below in the description below. If you do want to check this out for yourself, I believe you might need to be a Patreon in order to play as Mecha Godzilla. But if you guys do want to see a part two where I have Mecha Godzilla and put it up against some of the craziest, biggest Minecraft bosses I can find, definitely smash like and leave a comment down below. That is gonna wrap it up. It looks like Godzilla had just it it, it basically evacuated the entire area. So we're going to end it there. My name is Beckbro Godzilla, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, dudes.